Okay, so we're gonna do a real quick um, video here about how to determine if you've got semi-transparent pixels. And I'm just gonna open this up in Photoshop. So we're gonna open this up. And that's loading. Come on, Photoshop. Okay, so here we are. And we can see this image does have transparency because we can see the checkered background. But a dangerous thing can be semi-transparent pixels. So we're just gonna choose blending options here. And we're gonna choose stroke. Where are you? And then we're just gonna choose white. And you're gonna see that when I stroke this, there is a lot of, of transparent pixels. Um, they're semi-transparent because if we turn the stroke off, you don't see it. But when you turn the stroke on, you see it. So what Photoshop's doing, it kind of simulates what, what a DTF printer would do. Um, it's actually just putting a white stroke everywhere where it detects a pixel. And um, what that's, what you know, when, when a DTF printer prints, it prints white 100% behind every single pixel. So um, you really want to make sure when you're preparing something to be a transfer uh, that you don't have any of this, I don't know what else to call it, I call it mess. Um, and it usually comes from, you know, automatic background removal. Um, you know, Photoshop can even do this, you know, if you do the, um, if you find yourself doing like select, um, and you're using like the color selection. I'm not sure where that is because I don't use it. Um, you know, when you're when you're selecting based on a color, but um, automatic background removal is is notorious for doing this. It's it's removed, you know, for, where your naked eye can't see it, um, but the printer definitely can. So, I hope that helps. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how to fix uh, a messy image. So in a previous section, I said, you know, showed you how to detect uh, using a stroke layer when you've got semi-transparency, but now how do you fix it? Um, and, you know, the answer to that is, 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 is multifaceted. It's, it's not easy, uh, is, is the easy answer. Uh, but you can, you know, take the magic wand and start selecting and deleting. So, you know, that's, you have to be really careful, but, you know, we're gonna use the magic wand and do the best we can. It really helps to add a layer um, behind. So let's just put like a 50% gray layer underneath and then you can see everywhere that you've got to fix this um, real clearly so um, whoops I deleted my wrong layer <laughs> select this layer so yeah we'll just I'm gonna hit control D and deselect so you're literally gonna have to go in here and just nail all these little sections until until you've got them gone and it's certainly not easy and it's pretty frustrating. And, and this still doesn't really result, in my opinion, in a great um, result. I mean, it's, it's not nearly as pixel perfect as if you had, you know, the art and you actually, you didn't have, like, you know, it wasn't coming from a JPEG. You know, if your art's clean um, and, it, and, and it's been in, in good stewardship its entire time that, that it's existed, uh, you're gonna have a much cleaner image. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's fixed this to some degree. And now, you know, we've got to go in and, you know, having that stroke on really helps. It helps you identify where the problems are. You can see them a lot better. Um, and you can even turn it up a bit. So, so little bitty ones start becoming visible. Oh, I got stuff all the way up here. I got to zoom out. So we're just nailing all that with the eraser tool. And then these little, uh, these little tiny things that come around the outside, I like to call them warts. 
looks like it's got a little wart right there. We'll just get rid of that. And we can make our tool smaller with the bracket uh, keys that are next to the P on your keyboard. And just kind of nail these little guys out. So, you know, this image is now clean. And then don't forget to turn off your, um, you know, your background layer. And before we go, let's just look at this without the stroke. I mean, this image is not terrible, but it's not good either. You know, the, the, the edge is not good, you know, and I, and I don't want to be criticizing this particular image, but it, it's not, you know, it's, it's going to print with this outline no matter what you do. But that stroke will help you identify, you know, those little, those semi-transparent pixels. All right, this is Mike White signing off. I hope that helped. Have a great day.